What's happening guys, Lawson here. So today's video is going to be about rigging. I've had a lot of questions asked about, you know, what knots do I use, how do I tie my braid to my leader, and kind of just terminal tackle in general, you know, how, how do I go about finalizing the product that I'm going to be presenting to the fish in terms of braid diameter, leader length and size, lures. So I'm going to go over that today, you know, what I use to tie and all that good stuff, what knots, and go kind of go over all that. So over the past, I don't know, week or so, it's been the Christmas holidays, and I've kind of slowed down a lot, spending time with family and all that good, fun stuff, but I have not been able to film as much. But it's actually kind of been a blessing because I've now be able to get around to doing these videos that I've been putting off for a long time, you know. Just the other day I did the Rod and Reel Arsenal video, which people have been asking me to do that since June, practically. Now I'm going to do today's video about, you know, tying leader and how I do all of that. So we're going to hop into it, and for simplicity, I'm going to be using Calcutta 400, my swim bait G Loomis 7 foot 11 rod, and this is 30 pound braid that's rigged on here. And we're just going to go through it, and I'm going to show you what knots I tie and how I do it. Alright, so for snook, I'm going to be throwing 50 pound fluorocarbon. You can even see that right there, and it's about a 5 foot leader. I'm a fan of very long leaders. I think the longer the better. I definitely feel like saltwater fish shy away from braid. I know bass, they can be aggressive and they don't really worry about it. And I know a lot of people fish straight braid. Well, use straight braid for a lot of things in bass fishing, but I know people who throw Texas rigs and uh, swim baits and stuff like that on straight braid. But saltwater wise, I'm always throwing a leader. I don't know if I've ever even fished saltwater without throwing a fluorocarbon or monofilament leader in the past two or three years. So, not wise, you have two options essentially. I mean, there's more than that, but two options that I use. And that will be a uni to uni connection or an FG knot. And those are both knots for attaching your fluorocarbon to your braid. And they both have different applications for me. The FG knot takes a little longer to tie, but it's very thin profile and it's a very, very strong knot. But it's not a uh, hurry and quickly tie up and throw out this fish. It's like, all right, let me take a couple minutes to tie my FG knot and secure it properly and tie it off and do all that stuff. So I like to use the FG knot a lot, but I typically, I'm tying the FG knot the night before I go fishing and I'm rigging up and if I have time to rig up, that's when I'm tying the FG knot or before I even start the day, I'll use the FG knot. And the uni knot comes into play when you're out on the water and say you get broken off or you need to size down leader really quickly. The uni knot for me is a quick knot. And so if I really need to get back on the fish really quickly and retie a leader to a braid connection, I'm going to throw a uni knot really quick. Um, I'll show you guys how I tie a uni knot. There is a lot of stuff about how to tie FG knots and I'll link Salt Strong. They do a video about the FG knot and that's where I learned to tie mine. So I'll link that for you. And you guys will see that, but I'll show you real quick how I tie my uni knot real quick, and we'll go over that. Alright, real quickly, I'm just going to tie the uni knot right here for you in the camera. And so I like to line up my line like that, essentially where the braid and uh, fluorocarbon are across each other, just straight. And I start with the braid first, and I make a loop in it. So right there, you see I have the loop. And it's lined up with my fluorocarbon. And now I'm just going to twist the braid through the fluorocarbon and the braid itself loop that I made. And you can see I do about 8 to 10 wraps around it. And I'll show you. And you see it's just little wraps around both the braid and the fluorocarbon. And you grab the braid made line and the tag end and you pull it. There you go, right there. So you have one side done. And now I do the braid first because now the braid slides much more freely up the monofilament or fluorocarbon so I can adjust it. And now it's going to be the same thing. We're going to make half a loop. And I'm going to loop the fluorocarbon through the hole and around the braid. And then same thing, we pull it tight. 
the heavier gauge leader you use, the kind of harder and more difficult it gets to pull it taut. Alright, now you have your two knots together like that, and you grab the braid from one end and the fluorocarbon the other end. And you pull them together, and when you pull it, they tighten against each other. And you can see though, this is kind of a bulky profile right there, especially when you use heavier gauge leader, you get a bulky profile. But I'm going to cut the tag ends down, just like that. And so now that's, that's your basic uni to uni connection right there. But it's good for in a pinch and when you really need to get moving. But you can see that's pretty far away from the camera and how big of a bulky profile that is. And then I'll show you the FG knot and why I prefer to use that. But in a pinch, the uni knot will get the job done. Alrighty, so there is our FG knot, which is super, super thin, super low profile. And this thing is just great knot when you're throwing heavier gauge leader and you want to be able to reel up the leader knot through your eye. And with the swim bait rod, I want to be able to do that because I need to be able to make long casts and long accurate casts. And I also need thick heavy leader because snook have just such an abrasive mouth that big snook, if they choke a swim bait or they choke any bait in general, they're going to fray it typically if it's not up to par. And so heavy leader and FG knots, they kind of go hand in hand. And I like to tie these, like I was saying, you know, the night before, if I'm prepping and I have time to tie them. And then the uni knot is just kind of an on the water kind of deal. So, we have our braid to fluorocarbon connection now, which is the more difficult knot to tie, in my opinion. Now, it's going to be how do we rig it to our lure that we're going to throw. And so I'm going to be throwing a 8 inch swim bait mullet right there. So, I'll show you how I do that, what knot I use. For me, it's very, very simple. Honestly, I don't use big fancy knots and all that stuff. I know every knot has its place, really. You know, some people tie Palomars, some people tie Snells, and they all have their place and where they should be used. But for me, a classic fisherman's knot has always done the job, has always caught me fish, and I can't even think of a time within the past couple of years where I've had a fisherman's knot come untied. If you tie it properly, it's going to work. I think some people complain that they come untied. It's probably because they either don't tie it properly or they don't secure it enough. But they work, and I'll show you how to do that really quick, even though most of you probably know how to tie this knot right here. So, through the eye of the hook, I pull out about three inches. Right there. And you cross over, and it's six twists through it. Once you have your twist, you loop it through the hole that you made. Right there. So now you're left with a little loop that has your line twisted in it and your lines through the original hole. So you're just going to loop it through and you pull it tight. Super simple. You clip the tag end off and you're ready to throw. As long as it's tightened, this will be a great knot. I know people complain about it sometimes and say that it's not a great knot to tie, but when it's tightened, it works well. If you tie it properly, it's going to work. We'll make sure all our tag ends are trimmed very well. We'll pull this line all the way back through and tuck that hook in. Voila, we got a rigged swim bait right there. 50 pound fluorocarbon, about 5 feet of it, then the 30 pound braid attached by an FG knot to a 7 foot 11 rod, 400 sized Shimano Calcutta, more business. And my big thing, I'm very simple on how I tie my knots and for me it's about what's going to get you back in the water and what's going to get you catching fish fastest. And if you have the time the night before to prepare, that's very very important and very good. You know, I'll spend nights before I go fishing tying knots and making sure my leader is the right length and the knots are properly secured because there's nothing more heartbreaking than being out there and having a 40 inch snook come off by the boat or watching it blow up and your line come untied or your leader not fail or something like that. So it's very important to practice your knots and be comfortable with them and be good at tying them in a quick situation. You want to be very confident in your knot tying ability and in your whole terminal tackle rig. But it is all an extension of what you're throwing. You know, the fish, even though this is what it's seeing, the lure right here, 
everything comes into play from the knot, the hook, the gauge, and the length of the leader, the length of the braid, and the diameter of the braid. Everything comes into play in that presentation of the, the fish you're throwing at. It's not just the bait, it's everything leading up to your rod tip and even everything to your reel and how you're throwing it. So it's very important to have confidence in this and that's going to help you catch more fish for sure. Alright, that is about it rigging wise. But, inform you guys that I have now officially opened a P.O. box. I will put the address below if you wish to send me letters or mail or whatever. You know, I think it's a good way to connect with you guys on a more personal level. I can receive your mail. Maybe I'll even write mail back. Who knows? But, it's very cool opportunity for me to talk to you guys in a different way. And, if you want to send me mail, send me some mail. Put the address down there. Um, you know, that's it, you guys. I wanted to put this video up on how I rig things and try to make it as simple as possible. I know I kind of talk a lot because I get into it and I'm passionate about this kind of stuff. And it's fun for me to talk about, honestly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, maybe learned a little bit of something. I will put the link on how to tie an FG knot below. And if you have any other questions about the knots, you know, you can comment below or even look it up. There's a lot of videos online about how to tie proper knots. And that's how I learned most of mine, you know. Obviously, my dad taught me a lot when I was younger. But, you know, new stuff, I look it up online. And that's how I learned as well. So don't be afraid to ask questions from other fishermen about knots and lures. That's how you're going to learn, by asking questions. So don't be afraid to do that. And feel free to ask me questions all the time. I appreciate you guys. I hope you learned a little bit of something. See you soon.